Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back for our numero due. I hope I'm saying it correctly in Italian. Two is due in Italian. Due. We are back for a second book review and I am so ick. <laughs> I'm doing all those things. Stop. <laughs> the great Miss Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I hope I'm saying it correctly because I respect her. She is a successful female, a black Nigerian author who is based in America. So, you know, Nigerians are known to be global nomads. So, no surprise there, right? I've read her book. It was a, it was a small little booklet, like essay, nyana. It wasn't too hectic, few pages of feminism. Um, we should all be feminists. A stunning book. I was like, oh, okay. Her writing is, I need to know about her because everybody knows about her. So it's only right that I pick up her books. She has other books and half of a yellow side as well as Purple Hibiscus, which I am yet to read. I wanted to start with Half of a Yellow Sun, but I couldn't get it. So I got um, the thing around your neck and darling, that link, I was a blown away. Definitely such a beautiful, stunning read. I feel like African literature matters. African literature is beautiful because it is our stories told by us. Um, yeah, honestly, like incredible. I must say, I was a little bit intimidated by Miss Chimamanda because I feel like I didn't know what to expect. I know she's like, great, she's amazing. Um, Get feminism, get vibes, and I was just like, let me get into her, you know, her books, her novels, and let's see what it has in store. So I was definitely not disappointed. Let's get into my book review. <laughs> Disclaimer: I want you to know that the things I'm gonna say are really some of them are not factual. They are mostly my opinion because I feel like with my book reviews, I don't want to be too technical. I'm just giving my opinion and my overall experience of me reading the book. I haven't watched other big reviews or people who've read the book what they've said about it because I want to conclude and make up my own mind, you know. I think it's 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 important i vibe with the fact that i want to think my own thoughts instead of reading and 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 viewing other people's reviews and then it influences my experience and then i want to sound like more intelligent and sound like them but no 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 no. here we are genuinely just gonna discuss how i felt about it what i learned from it how i saw it, my perspective my overall just you know feeling about the book so anyway let's get into it Guys, the thing around your neck. Already, when I heard the title, I was like, okay, it has to be some sort of metaphor. Or does it have to do with, you know, let me see, slavery, suicide. Um, what could it mean? Like, what could it mean? I believe when it comes to African literature, our authors are quite, you know, poetic. They paint our stories beautifully um i think they draw their stories from facts obviously but others from just passed down stories by your great grandfather or just your overall knowledge about your country um i'm not entirely sure if this is most of them are fictional or whether it's 100 percent true but i think it's a uh, fictional while drawing obviously from factual things that happened in Nigeria, in the world, you know. The themes in this book are centered around Nigerian politics. Colonization is also a strong theme. The government, Nigerian stories slash experiences, America, you know, how if you are from Nigeria, you go to America and the experiences there. I would say pain, survival, her writing style is beautiful. It is quite poetic. It is metaphoric. It is. It has a lot of Nigerian names, obviously, which I butchered probably when I pronounced them in my head. It has 
bits of facts here and there that entices you to go look up like what it, what, what happened this did this really take place in nigeria in this year how colonization obviously had a huge effect on nigeria as to why nigerians are actually global nomads because the situation at home is bad guys so it gives you as a reader and for me the south african reader i gain more insight and understanding as to why nigerians leave their countries you know um she uses uh, big words i found myself um googling a bit <laughs> and i was like a bit annoyed but i'm like you know let me learn new vocab but at the same time it's just like english is so pretentious like all these synonyms and uh, for like words and expressions that could just be said straightforward so that kind of i think puts you off reading also if you're not a reader because there's this discourse of like a linguistic language style that is like oh, i have to like look this one up and i don't know if i store all the words in my long-term memory because i'm like i'm never gonna use these words in my everyday speaking yeah but i guess it's helpful when i read a book next time i'll know what this and that meant so um yeah like the story has like 12 short stories in this book of different nigerian experiences obviously some stood out to me more than others one of my favorite stories in no particular order is so i think it it, it, it would not make sense for me not to discuss the title and the the title of the book being one of the short stories in the book so the first one that i want to discuss is the thing around your neck right so this particular short story is about a lovely young lady who is from nigeria i'm not gonna say her name out of respect for nigerians and their names because i don't want to butcher them because i some of them i really couldn't pronounce so anyway this girl is from nigeria she moves to america where her uncle is already settled there he has his life going and his wife so she goes there as an au pair essentially and to take care of the family and blah 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 while she figures out what she can you know do is she gonna go to college is she gonna you know just survive outside of nigeria in america so anyway what happens one night is that her uncle comes in a room tries to you know have sex with her basically saying like what do you think is gonna happen if you want to make it in america you have to sleep your way to the top type of thing like do this scratch me i'll scratch your back type of vibe and she was just like nah she was not having it and so she like shut herself in the bathroom i think and until the uncle left and then the next day she literally like packed all her things and she left she left to go out um survive daso in america she didn't go home so she got a, a job as a waitress at a restaurant and yeah she was like literally depressed because she couldn't tell her parents Uti, uncle is out here in america trying to abuse me and i had to go out survive get a, a job that doesn't pay that much i'm paying for an apartment i can't even go to school so all that pressure to be something you know to survive in america was kind of getting to her so she i would think in this instance chimamanda labeled depression as the thing around your neck because before she went to sleep it would choke her the fact that she was all alone in this foreign country and she had to just and do things to 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 get by you know so she later then meets this guy who knows a lot about nigeria and who is to her surprise is not as ignorant ag arrogant as all americas are towards africans asking them oh do you guys have like water in africa 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 that nonsense about america so this guy fascinated by him bothering her bothering her pursuing her pursuing her so she gives in so he's a white guy obviously the first white guy she dated they start they start you know dating and yeah with dating another person from another culture obviously comes with its own set of challenges and she just doesn't understand he's thinking his life and so there are those just like general clashes but they try and make it work so how chimamanda writes this story is really beautiful just explaining how two people from two different worlds come together try and make it work and then at the end it, it really worked so that was really like a dope story so the other one that i liked was imitation right it is about this wife who finds out that 
then in america right this nigerian couple the wife finds out that the husband is cheating in nigeria through a friend so it's that whole you know we are take a take okay she's like so we move to America. I build this home for him. I'm taking care of his kids. And so he's in between, like, has business in Nigeria and America. So I wouldn't be stressed. Not only does he, you know, have an affair, he moves her in to their home in Nigeria. So it's like, what do you even mean? You know? So that's also one of the stories that I would have really loved to be longer than it was, but it wasn't. Like Chimamanda kinda she just I feel like she was teasing us. She was just like, I am a dope writer, but I'm not gonna give you everything, you know? So that's really I wanted to know more about like what happened in the end. Like let's go into depth. Let's have an entire whole novel just about that, you know? So so yeah, those are just some of the stories that stood out for me. Um, I would definitely give this book an 8 out of 10. 8 because, listen, it is proper. I was right in there. I'm subtracting the two because I just felt like I wanted the, the, some of the short stories um to be a bit longer because i was like oh my gosh like it's gonna come as i was reading i read like the first short story i was like okay cool then i read the second short story i was like okay all right so i thought she was gonna like interchange between this story and another story but then i started seeing no get number three get number four get number five and the stories went on i was like ah oh, you know girl i would have loved to i felt like one short story literally could have been a book on its own like i would have been all right you know what i mean so yeah, that's why I'm giving it a solid eight. Beautiful, beautiful book. It was really interesting to learn more about, just like us South Africans, the 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 meanings behind their names. You know, God be with us. Um, depending on the circumstance on when you were born, how they'd attach the meaning to that. So Nigerians really have beautiful African names. Um, yeah, Africans really we are serious about our names i like that chimamanda also threw in like words here and there in nigeria in igbo or yoruba um about their food so some food i knew because i read um things fall apart so that's also an amazing book so if you've read that book you kind of have an idea of what takes place in nigeria their food their culture palm trees yams palm wine you know etc etc so it was interesting to read this one because some i do have knowledge what is okra soup what is gari what is a cola nut so i knew some of the things so i liked that as well um i also liked how she wrote about like politics you know what happened in nigeria so that really enticed me to go and research further what took place in nigeria so yeah you're like man why people kind of ruin everything you know i think colonization honestly like as as africa it, books like this make you wonder and think like what would have happened if we were not colonized like our ways would they have been enough would we and i do think we would have achieved and became who we were intended to become you know did we really need these missionaries from all these other countries to come and show us their ways and and make us believe that our that our way of living was savage was not enough was not the correct way of just doing things you know so it makes you think about like things like that um just the overall Ubuntu of black people, you know, our humanity, our humility, how we as African people have a certain way of living. And if you put us in another country, that cultural shock and just our ability also to adapt easily in a country. Because like, what can you do? You, you take us from our homelands or we have to move because of certain situations and you put us in America. That's like, oh, okay. But in the end, we do survive. So yeah man um i learned uh, quite a bit 
as to why Nigerians are everywhere, global nomads, those ones. Um, Chimamanda is an amazing writer. I really enjoyed her writing. Her reading is a beautiful, once again. I would definitely recommend this book. It is a stunning book. Um, comment down below if you have read the book. Tell me what you thought about it. Um, tell me what I should read next by Chimamanda because I'm definitely going to read all her books. I'm interested. And um, yeah, I really had fun reading this book. Yeah, like it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful picture she paints, you know. Anyway, so I will see you guys in my next video. Um, like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.